All right. Yes, I know. Craziest thing happened today or was it yesterday? I'm not even sure to be honest, but you're wondering, some of you are wondering, why would this happen? Who did this? Some of you probably like NFTs are wondering, what guy would spend 400 ETH or 600, over 600, like $30,000 on a picture? So in this video, I'm going to explain th three things. Here. I'm going to explain who bought the Pudgy Penguin. You know, obviously we all know it's 400 ETH sale for a Pudgy Penguin. So who bought the Pudgy Penguin? What does this mean for the NFT market? And, you know, like just some other backstory about this project. I mean, not the project, just some what's going on. You know, what, what is this? Just the background. So to fill you in on this important news. And yes, I'm making a full video on this. So sit tight, buckle up. I got a video for y'all today. So just sit back. You know, it's an easy video. Y'all need to understand that stuff. So who bought the pudgy penguin the person who bought the pudgy penguin was none other than fudrick douglas if you're reading this i hope you have a good day he is the daddy at rug generous this is a dao so he's, he's the owner of a dao which is cool but mr fudrick mr fudrick is the owner of this pudgy penguin now this pudgy penguin sold for 400 eth yesterday which is absolutely insane absolutely insane that if someone would buy a four like i'm not i'm not I'm not, I'm not shitting on this guy at all i think that it's his money he can do whatever he want with it but me personally i probably would have bought some other things but it's obviously his money he can do whatever he want with it now 400 ETH sale for pudgy penguins is pretty insane for a project like that now it has been the like this last couple of weeks we have seen some hype around pudgy penguins we have seen that people are having like full faith into it and we have seen a pump up to like 40 ETH plus so seeing this sale just proves that a lot of people are, a lot of people are bullish on uh, on pudgy penguins now i genuinely think that this is very very bullish for the nft space and for pudgy penguins in general it proves that people still believe in the nft space and people believe that uh the pudgy penguins community will last now, I obviously have nothing to say about Pudgy Penguins. I'm not part of the community. I have nothing to say about that. I think it's a pretty cool community and a pretty strong community. So, I mean, he's a super cool dude. He's been dealing with so much hate, which is kind of sad to see in the NFT community. How something so big for the NFT community is just getting absolutely pooped on because, like, people just want to be the funniest guys in the world. I mean, it's whatever. You know, you do whatever you want to do. But me personally, I think it's absolutely amazing. And he, it's, it's good for him, dude. He's a funny dude. I've followed him. He's a super cool dude. I love him, man. He's a very cool dude. So if we just search up 400 ETH, we can see it. All they're talking about right now is 400 ETH Penguin is the worst purchase ever. And you see all this stuff. Like, like, see, even this person agreeing. Why isn't it tweaking about anyone spending 400 ETH on NFT? The optic of a single purchase are great for the space. It's amazing to see all that stuff, but you're always going to see people get mad, people complaining. There's always going to be those people, which is absolutely insane. I mean, just why are you hating on this dude, bro? He's just like just doing his own thing, minding his business, and everybody just, just poop on this guy. I mean, it's cool to see this. It's very, very nice to see. It's whatever. Now, what does this mean for the Pudgy Penguins community? And it's, it's good. I mean, we've seen it kind of stabilized at 3.5 under 4 ETH. It did kind of go down a bit. You know, we can look at the activity chart. Can see that it slowly, steadily came up all the way from the beginning. And yesterday, obviously, we see an insanely big spike because of the 400 ETH sale. Now, most of these are getting bought out through like offers, which is cool to see. But you may like if I, I showed in the beginning, but the, the one that was sold was this pudgy penguin. Now, you may be wondering, why is this pudgy penguin so so cool well it's because it's facing left yes the only difference between this and a normal pudgy penguins it has no traits and it is facing left instead of facing this way so instead of facing this way which is probably the other way for you guys it's facing this way i mean yeah cool i guess so nfts are the the biggest technology it's whatever so we have seen pudgy penguins starting to get very consistent with their sales and it's just starting to move up and i genuinely think that maybe pudgy penguins can become something big if their community starts to like come stronger even though it is already very very strong you could definitely see like the uh, the pudgy penguin queen maybe becoming a, a a new blue like it is kind of a mid-cap blue chip maybe become something bigger if the if the people 
bring a lot of stuff to the community. So that's pretty much it for this pudgy penguin little news that happened over here. If we go over to the market analytics, we can see pretty much the same thing as yesterday. I'm not even going to go over this. But yesterday was kind of different from today. We did see a $15 million day instead of 17. It seems like we're just hovering around this. Like the lowest day we're seeing is 14. So it's like a 14 to like the 17, 18 million dollar range, which is all right. I guess it's been like this forever. And if we do look at the top NFTs, we can see Board Ape is at 66 ETH, Mutant Ape, same thing. Pretty much all the same thing all around for these these uh, NFTs. And now we're also might, I think we will start to see a little bit of a uh a little bit of a thing i think a little bit of a pudgy penguins meta cute meta i think possibly if the market was better we probably could have seen like a cute meta where a bunch of cute projects would just start appearing up but we're, just, we're obviously going to see a bunch of freeman pudgy penguins projects and some of them will survive and some of them won't so it's, i mean it's cool it's whatever it looks like it's a a nice little project over here it looks dope so keep an eye out out for the meta i'm probably gonna start talking about some projects that have to follow this meta it's cool it's whatever but it's good to see that you know people still have faith in the nft community i think this should be honestly something you should be happy about too if you follow nfts if you don't i mean it looks stupid but i guess it's it's the future guys. so i love y'all man have a good day god loves you i love you good day good night and goodbye